My name's Jesse, and today we are gonna go out to prepare a holiday meal. No matter what you are having for your holiday meal, if you're gonna eat meat, it's gonna come from one or two places. You can get it from the farm or the grocery store, or you can do it the way I prefer to, get it straight from the wild. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We are gonna go out, get a goose from the wild, and prepare a beautiful holiday meal with it. So let's get right into it and see how this hunt goes. Welcome to Mainly Outdoors. Now today we are out early. We're out duck hunting today. I'm with Aaron. I'll actually introduce you to him in just a second and hopefully we're in for some good flights of mallards. Um, we have great weather for it. We have some really harsh weather on the way tonight, like inches of rain and 50 mile an hour winds. So if anything is gonna get the duck mo ducks moving, it's gonna be that. So let's see how the day goes. All right. Hi guys, I'm Aaron. Uh, I've hunted with Jesse a few times. We're out here again today, hopefully scratch a limit of um, uh, mallards. We got a nice flight of them coming late, late morning, coming off a of corn feed, which is awesome. So we get some nice tasty birds, better than the, uh, the ones that, the black ducks that feed on worms down here. It's gonna be a good morning, I think, good winds. So yeah, looking forward to it. She's on, uh, she's on this opposite bank. Oh, look right in front of us. Got him. Woo! I was getting worried for you, man. You, you and me both. Yeah, I stopped filming you because I was, <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to go shoot in a second. <laughs> Once I heard the second and the third go off, and luckily on the third one, I saw you whacked it pretty good. All right, good. One in the morning and a ton have landed in this back field here. So I'm back in the corn. So hopefully once they come off that feed, they're gonna come back through and land here, or at least come this way so we can get a couple more shots. Well, nice, man. Yeah. First one, nice drake too. <laughs> Not skunked. Bad. Two curls. It's a nice mallard. Actually, three. A triple curl. Oh yeah, gorgeous. All right, geese down below. I can't tell. I can just hear him. <laughs> ah, they're like right here. They are in the field. Oh, oh get down. Get right. <laughs> I think they're gonna circle in and land again. They're trying to land. So what's the approach? Straight up this V? Yeah. It's a good start. It's fine. I have no soul on that foot. It's just bare. I'm excited for goose. They're so good, yeah. follow this valley. Oh, I see So they're all right by those trees. There's a little dip. They're pretty close. Yep. 
got better. one. All right. Hey, I'm happy with a goose. You ain't going 20. I think you popped the cranium. Hey, that's a nice big one. Might even have some fat on her. All right, I'll trade you. I whiffed my first shot. <laughs> you whiffed your first shot. I didn't even know what to shoot. I, didn't, I had no idea where they were. There were so many. Hey, I am almost happier with a goose. These things are delicious. They're almost better, I think. I love them. Yeah, me too. I got one goose. I am super happy with that because those are delicious. And I ate the three that we got here last time. So more than happy to get a goose. But let's pop back in this blind here and see if we can't get another duck to fly by. I think we should see a couple more this morning. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off here. Let's hope for another couple ducks and then we're going to have like an hour wait or so before they come off that feed and then hopefully fly this way. Oh, a geese. I hear geese coming up the river. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. Is there a lot? Oh yeah. Two V's and they're coming straight over. You see them? Oh yeah. Same spot. You want to go get, get some more geese? Uh, yeah. 100%. percent get a couple shells. I think their heads might be poking over the knoll this time. Ah, I knew it. You hear him hit? <laughs> Holy cow. Can fall down here? Nah, he's back here. There he is. Man. Nope. So we just got the a second goose. We had a couple flocks come in and they actually landed in that field back here again, but when we went to try to stalk over to them, they, I don't know what happened. They must have, must have seen us coming around. But luckily when it took off, I was able to pick one off right above. And so that is my second goose. No more ducks have came by, but, but anyway, I'm going to put the camera down. So hopefully I'll be ready by the time these ducks fly. So we'll see how it goes. There we go. See him? Yep. <laughs> You gonna take him? Is that too far for me? That's too far for you. Oh wait, stay. So uh, we're gonna call it. It was a good day. I got a couple geese. Aaron got his limits, both nice drake mallards. Can't complain, it was a pretty good hunt. That last mallard I would have shot, but uh, it, for my 20 gauge, it was a little out of range. So it'd be a questionable whether or not I'd get it. I'd probably just kind of injure it and I don't know. Didn't feel like a good shot to take, so I didn't bother let Aaron do it. He's got a 12 gauge with a, is that a full choke? Yeah, so anyway, I just figured I'd let him take that one because it's more of a guarantee and I already got a couple geese, so. Good day all in all. We're gonna pack up and uh, we'll see you back at home where we're gonna do a catch and cook. I am actually really excited that we ended up getting those geese instead of the ducks because as you can tell, it is the holiday season. I figured what better to do than to take those geese and prepare a holiday meal with them. So we're gonna be doing a holiday goose with a orange marmalade and thankfully, one of them wasn't shot up too bad. So I figured, hey, let's just pluck the whole thing and do a roasted goose. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But anyway, let's just jump right into that. We'll start preparing the meal, sit down for a holiday dinner and uh, see how it turns out. All right, so this is gonna be a multi-day process. And to start off, we are gonna put this bird into a brine and that's gonna help us retain some moisture. It's gonna add some flavor. 
And it's pretty simple. Uh, so to begin with, you're gonna put some water in a pot and add all of these ingredients that we have here. We've got some pepper, some clove, bay leaves, ground cinnamon, allspice, sugar, and salt. So pretty straightforward. We're just gonna get that all into some water. I added about a cup and a half to start with, but the goal is just to simply get the salt and the sugar to totally dissolve into the water. So if you have to add a little bit more, that's no big deal. You can add some more. The only thing is you don't want to add too much because we are going to have to add this uh, to the bird and we don't want to heat it up too much because of course you don't want to cook it yet. So once that's done, you're just going to add some water to a turkey in a large pot um, and you're going to want to make sure that water is ice cold. Um, it's going to help cool down that brine that we just made. And of course, add that into the pot. Uh, make sure your brine has cooled down just a little bit. Put that in and add some more cold water until you fill it to the top. At that point, uh, just put your lid on and put that in the fridge. I stuck that in there for probably about a day and a half and just don't have to really think about it now. Now, about a day and a half later, the night before I was going to prep this meal, I took out that bird drained off all of our brine. We don't want, well, we don't want too much moisture on this bird while we're cooking it. And that's gonna allow your skin to crisp up. So just to take off a little more moisture, I pad it dry, put it into a tray and actually stuck it back in the fridge without any covering. And this is just gonna dry it out just a little bit more. Uh, later on, I actually went back and put some tin foil over it just to make sure it doesn't dry out too much. But so moving on to the next day, we are finally ready to start prepping our meal. Uh, to begin with, take that bird out of the fridge. Uh, we are going to get it ready to put it in the oven. So get that in some sort of tray. And then I took a toothpick and I poked holes all over this bird. Uh, the goal with this is to help render that fat and dry out the skin so it's nice and crisp. So you're gonna poke holes pretty much all over this bird. Uh, set your oven to 375. And once that's preheated, we're ready to go. Now, while we're waiting 20 minutes to flip that bird over, we are gonna make our basting sauce. Uh, so that's gonna be super simple. It's just gonna be some orange juice, orange marmalade, and, a, and whatever white wine you choose. Pretty straightforward. We're just gonna go with a half cup each, pour that into a pot, and bring it to a boil. At which point you can just pull that off, set it to the side, and we will use that to baste the bird throughout the cooking process. Once your 20 minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and flip that bird over. Now we're gonna have the breast facing up and it's gonna remain that way for the remainder of the cooking period. Put that back in, let it go another 20 minutes. Afterwards, you can take it out and start to baste it. And I'll do this in uh, 20 minute increments. Normally you can just leave it in the oven. I took it out so I can get a, a good shot of it. The lighting in the oven isn't the best. <laughs> but anyway, put that back in and then baste it every 20 minutes. And now, of course, what's a holiday meal without all of the fixings? So let's move on. Along with this bird, we're gonna be having some squash. It's just a super simple recipe. Some butter, maple syrup, cinnamon, salt, and pepper. And of course, you gotta have some mashed potatoes to go along with that, gravy, and probably my favorite of them all, the stuffing. You gotta have stuffing for a holiday meal. And that's essentially it. So now the only thing we're waiting on is the goose itself. Now I think I let this cook for maybe about three hours. I can't remember exactly, but I just continued basting it every 20 minutes and this bird is gonna be ready to go in no time. With everything all finished up, the only thing left to do is dish it out, put it on the table, sit down, and enjoy our holiday meal. Go down below in the comments and let me know what you think of this meal without tasting it before I give you mine.
so there you go. That was my holiday goose. I, it looks really good, actually, and it smells fantastic. I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. This is the first time I think I've cooked basically a full holiday meal by myself. Everything looks pretty great, uh, but I'm really excited to try out this recipe. This isn't something that I've had before, um, so I don't really know what to expect. Yeah, I figured why not try it? It's kind of the season to do it, so let's just dig in and see how it turned out. I think that's very good. It is good. It's not too dry either. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. The brine that I put it in, I think, helped out a lot. I was a little bit worried about this being, what people say, too greasy and dry, but uh, rendering that fat beforehand, I think it did a really good job. That is really good. So anyway, guys, I don't want to do too much talking. I want to sit down and enjoy our meal. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that and hopefully you guys get to try this yourself, maybe for the upcoming holidays. So anyway, I hope you guys get to try this and spend the holidays with your family. Uh, thank you guys for watching and happy holidays. I'll catch you in the next one.